Hello everybody, how's it going today? Today I'm going to be doing a couple more pages from my Outside the Lines 2 coloring book. Um, it is curated by Soros Hong and it is an inspired and inventive coloring book by Creative Masterminds. Now in the first episode I kind of went through about what this book is and what it's representing and everything but today I just wanted to kind of ramble and talk like I typically do in these types of videos. Um, I did get requests that they, you guys preferred me talking over just having music play over a speed paint. So that's what I'm going to try to do more often. Sometimes I'm not going to be able to, but um, you know, when I can, I will do that because I do enjoy kind of just talking and getting things off my chest or maybe discussing the art or just something I like to talk about. Um, my husband and I um, have had a rough couple days. Yesterday we found out that a close friend and um, someone we really care for passed away. They've been fighting cancer for a long time so um, you know it it wasn't expected because they it, it did kind of just happen all of a sudden but they have been very sick most of their life. But um, yeah I just wanted to get something off my chest and try to not think about it too much because you know I, I have a philosophy it may not be correct but I have the philosophy of if I think about things too much I just wallow in a pile of nothing and nothing ever will get done and I'll just turn into a big ball of depression so I just kind of have to get my mind off of it not ignore it or act like it didn't happen like it's not an unhealthy thing but I do need to get my mind off of it sometimes and just do something that makes me feel happy and eat things that make me happy and hang out with people that make me smile and just overall kind of avoid the feelings. <laughs> Maybe that's unhealthy. I don't know. But this page is very interesting that I'm looking at right now. Uh, I really like the artwork of it. It's very like it's it's very cartoon and reminiscent of uh, that one comic strip with the tiger. I can't remember its name. Oh my god, I'm terrible. But uh, it's very interesting. Lots of stuff going on. I really, really like the dolphin and the narwhal in it. But uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, today there's a convention in our town, which is like a very small town, very small convention. Last year I sold at it and it was very, very successful. I just didn't have the money when the application time came this year. Very poor planning on my part. Um, I've been struggling with my shop trying to make it more profitable and also have the money to on the side pay for side gigs like uh, conventions and stuff. It's been a lot harder lately than it used to be for me as far as paying and going to conventions and traveling. We had a couple of bad conventions to like one after the other last year so I'm kind of hesitant now. I think I'm a little worried and scared to apply to anymore because of that. Um, it wasn't the art. I had a lot of people very interested and follow me on social media afterwards and who are still communicating with me from that convention or those conventions. But no one was buying and everyone I talked to was struggling and I hope that it's picked up since then but I wanted to give it some time along with being afraid. So it's totally normal if you experience something like that to be scared. In my opinion honestly because it is my livelihood and I just I struggle with dealing with the blows and not just keep going back over and over and over and over because the first one I was like okay well maybe it was just a fluke but the second one you start questioning your art and yourself and everything but you have to kind of step away if you have more than one bad experience and evaluate what you did evaluate what you've done in the past if you changed anything um, are you getting too stagnant? Are you not changing enough? Like, what are what are the reasons that this is happening to me and my business? And you can't take it personal when people don't want to buy your stuff, you know? If you're going through a rough time financially, the odds of someone else is just extremendous, you know? Like, there's, there's tons of people out there who are also going through financial issues like you are. So you can't take it personal when everyone's not clamoring to buy your art. You just have to figure out substantial other ways to fill your income and um, I feel like I've been doing that with my full-time job and along with some side work every once in a while. Um, being a graphic designer really is helpful. I can 
use that to make a little extra cash because most people are needing something. Not that that means they're going to pay me well. <laughs> There's lots of people needing design work done and they really want to work with me. But a lot of them don't want to pay anything. They, they want it for free or they want it for like 20 bucks. And that's just not worth my time. Um, some people have the argument of, well, some money's better than no money. Well, I beg to differ whenever you paid thousands of dollars for your education. And the fact that I take hours, sometimes hours, sometimes days to make something for someone. And that's not worth $20. That's worth you know, minimum 100 to 300 dollars in my opinion, depending on what you're wanting, maybe even more if you're wanting several versions or several changes made. So don't ever sell yourself short whenever you're desperate. You know, it's it's easy enough to say, well, I'm desperate, so I can do this commission for a dollar. Well, honey, I hate to tell you, but the materials you use for that, plus your time, a dollar is nothing. Like, nothing. If you make prints of something you worked really hard on, you can sell those a little cheaper because you're mass producing them. But if you're selling something that is a one of a kind and you've put all your time and effort into it and it's truly something you cared about and that you put your heart into, do not sell yourself short, even if you're desperate. Like, figure something out. You can cut something out of your life and make things easier. Like, I have a coffee addiction that I love to go to this local place and get a coffee every single day. And I did that for a couple months, and it was financially a burden. So, I've had to cut that out or just do one a month or one every four weeks or two weeks or something. Like, I, I make it a special day, and it's just kind of a big deal when I get to go get one, even though it's, like, an addiction, like a legit addiction. Just do your best, and don't sell yourself short, I guess, is the theme of this one. I want everyone to make art and be happy about it. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.